hello friends in this video we are going to solve a problem on time response analysis of a control system in the problem we are given the transfer function of the control system and we have to find out the transient response specifications and time response of the system so let's take a problem <music> So our problem is we are given a second order control system and it has a unity feedback and an open loop transfer function gs equals to 500 upon s s plus 50. Now we have to find the transient response specifications for this system and also if the system is subjected to a ramp input of 0.5 radians per second what is the steady state error. Also, we have to find out the time response of the system. So let's try to solve this problem. We are given the open loop transfer function for this system and we are given that it is a second order control system having unity feedback. So first we will draw the block diagram for this system. RS is the input to the system, CS is the output and this is the open loop transfer function GS. And we are given that it is a unity feedback system so HS will be equals to 1. So this is the block diagram of this system. Now through this block diagram we are going to write the characteristic equation for this system. Characteristic equation is given by 1 plus gs hs equals to 0. This is the characteristic equation for a system. So gs is given to us it is 500 upon s s plus 15 and hs is given to us as 1. So we are going to put its value in this equation and we will get the characteristic equation as 1 plus into hs is 1 equals to 0. So if we multiply this, solve this, we will get s square plus 15s plus 500 equals to 0. So this is the characteristic equation of the system. Now if we compare this characteristic equation by the general form or the generalized characteristic equation of a second order control system, then we have this is the standard form 
of a characteristic equation for a second order control system and the equation which we got is s square plus 15 s plus 500 equals to 0. Now if we compare these two equations we will get the value that this coefficient of s is 15 and here coefficient of s is 2 del omega n. So 2 del omega n is equals to 15 and here omega n square equals to 500. So from here the value of omega n will be under root of 500 or we can say that omega n is equals to 10 root 5 radians per second. Now here we have 2 del omega n equals to 15. So del will be equals to 15 upon 2 omega n. Omega n we have already calculated. So just put its value in this. So del will be equals to 15 upon 2 into 10 root 5. So if we solve this, we will get the value of del as 0 0.15 root 5. How we can get? We will multiply this with root 5 and divide with root 5. So root 5 and root 5, it will be 5. So 15 root 5 upon 2 into 10 into 5. So it will be 3, 3 by 2 or we can say it will be 0 0.15 root 5. Okay, so this is the value of del and it is the value of omega n. Now we are going to use these two values and then we will find the rest of the transient response specifications like peak time, rise time and maximum overshoot. So the next specification is peak time which is formula is Tp equals to pi by omega d. Peak time it is represented by Tp and it is equal to pi upon omega d. Omega d it is the damping frequency. So omega d it is equal to omega n under root of 1 minus del square. We have already calculated the value of omega n and del. Omega n was the natural frequency and del was the damping ratio. So the omega d which is the damping frequency we can easily calculate because we have the value of omega n and del. So Tp will be pi upon omega d is omega n under root of 1 minus del square. So just put the values. Omega n was 10 root 5, 1 minus del was 0 0.15 root 5 square. So we can easily calculate its value. Tp, this pi is 3.14. Then we have 10 root 5 under root of 1 minus this square will be 1 minus 0 0.1125. So we have Tp equals to 3.14 upon n root 5 and we have 1 minus this so 10 root 5 into 0 0.9420. So if we solve this, we will get the value of the peak time as 0 0.1491 seconds. So this is the peak time we are getting. Okay. Now we have maximum overshoot. Maximum overshoot it is represented by percentage mp and it is given by the formula e raised to the power minus del pi divided by 
under root of 1 minus del square into 100. So we are going to put the values here. We know del, we have already calculated. So just put its value and then calculate the maximum overshoot. So we have put the value of del here, then pi is 3.14 and 1 minus del square is there into 100. So when we calculate this, this value will come out to be 32.69%. So maximum overshoot is 32.69%. Next specification is settling time. Settling time is represented by Ts and it is given by the formula 4 upon del omega n for 2% tolerance band. Okay, we have different different values here. We have to calculate for the 2% tolerance band. So its formula is 4 upon del omega n. So Ts will be equals to 4 upon del is what 0 0.15 root 5 and omega n is 10 root 5. So the settling time it is coming out to be 0 0.533 seconds. Now we have calculated all the transient response specification. Next we will calculate the steady state error. So steady state error for a second order control system, it is given by 1 upon 1 plus GSHS into RS. RS is the input and GSHS, GS was the open loop transfer function and HS was the feedback transfer function. ES is the steady state error. So we are going to put the values and we have to calculate the steady state error or a ramp input and the value of this ramp input is 0 0.5 radians per second. The frequency of this ramp input is. So ramp input is RT equals to T. So RS will be equal to 1 upon S square. For a unit ramp function, the RT that is input, it is represented by T. And when we take its Laplace transform, it is equal to 1 upon S square. Now here we are given that the frequency is 0 0.5 radians per second of this ramp signal. So here the RS will be equal to the frequency and the signal. So 0 0.5 upon S square. So now we are going to put the value here. ES 1 upon 1 plus GS was 500 upon S, S plus 15 into 1. And RS is 0 0.5 upon S square. So let's multiply this. So just simplify this ES. We will multiply this, that is, we have 1 plus 500 upon S, S plus 15. So just multiply this, we will get 1s will be cancelled so es equals to 0 0.5 s plus 15 upon this we have s s plus 15 plus 500 into s so s 
and inside we will have s s plus 15 plus 500 okay so we have to calculate the steady state error so ess will be steady state error will be limit s tends to 0 s es so here we will multiply this es with s so s into 0 0.5 s plus 15 on s now this s and s they will be cancelled so we will get the ess as if we apply the limits s tends to 0 so it will be 0 plus 15 then we have 0 plus 15 into 0 plus 500 so we will have 0 0.5 into 15 upon this has become 0 so only 500 is left so if we calculate this we will get the value as 0 0.015 radians per second so in this problem we are given the open loop transfer function for a second order control system we are given that it has a unity feedback so hs will be equal to 1 so we have to find the transient response specifications so first we write the characteristic equation then from the characteristic equation comparing it with the standard form we got the value of damping ratio and the natural frequency and then using the formulas for the rest of the transient specifications we solve the problem so in this way we can find out the solution or the time response or we can say the transient response specifications for a system when its open loop transfer function is given to us so i hope that this problem is clear to you thank you